technical analysis breakdown for block with the ticker symbol SQ. Remember that if you want a chart analysis guaranteed to be done, please read the description below. Before we begin, please take a second to give the video a like and subscribe for more chart analysis. I appreciate all those who are already subscribed and like my videos. Just a reminder that this video is for entertainment purposes only, does not constitute any financial advice. I will first go over what I see on the daily chart and finish the video off with the weekly chart. The last time I looked at this company was back on January 6th and we were right at the 142 level and you can see that my thumbnail was saying that block could possibly go below the $100 level and pretty much a few days ago we bounced right from the 102 level. So is that the bottom of this downtrend or not? Well, in my eyes, there's a very low probability for that and I think we're going to continue lower and I'm going to give you reasons why. The number one reason is that prices are continu continuing to trend lower uh, and lower. Prices are still making lower lows, lower highs. And you can see that the EMA is pointing down. And this is a very strong move, um, very aggressive. You can see that the corrections back up are very small or even sideways. So that's a very, this is a very strong trend. Um, it's a little more than healthy. A healthy uh, downtrend is about 45 degrees. This is about a 50 to 60 uh, degree downtrend. So they probably want to go to wherever they're going quickly before bouncing. And you can see that we did have a bounce because we were extended from the EMA and we were at the support side of the channel. And we did the same thing previously here before and another time before. So this is the support side and this is where people buy the dips or try to pick up the bottom. However, it's a downtrend, so the bears can be ruthless. And you can see that we got rejected right from the midline, just like we did over here. We couldn't even work our uh, way back to the resistance side of the channel. So are this is this going to just be a short trap? Um, well, it's a possibility. We could just trend down just a little bit more and then rally. But either way, I'm still expecting that $100 level to be broken. Even if we do get a break outside of this channel that's working lower, I still expect a retest of the previous lows and the previous lows are right now at the hundred dollar level so even if we do see a rally out of here i'm still expecting a reversal uh, back down to the lows at least to test it one more time so let me zoom out on the chart you can see that my target for this company was at the um well it was a measure move outside of this range and that would have given me a very accurate target for the company uh well not the company but the price that it wants to trade at and you can see that the measured move was right at the, what's it called? Let's take, what, right at the 120 level. So we even exceeded that um, target and we are continue trending lower. So this is a stronger move than even I thought. So uh, prices broke outside this range, made a measured move down, and we're still continuing to trend lower. So this was just a ballpark estimate of where prices are going. And I predicted that, I think before, I think when prices were still in this range back here in November of 2021, and you can see that prices broke down and met the measured move. Uh, it was very similar pattern to how Play PayPal was playing uh, playing out. And usually the stocks in the same sector trade the same way. You don't really see, um, well, like PayPal just um, going to all time highs. I don't know about Visa or Mastercard. I haven't looked at those yet in a while. But they're probably doing the same thing. Um, probably they're probably also in a downtrend, or at least not trading um, this harshly uh, downward. So. Where is my next target for this company since we did exceed that measured move? So my next target is going to be a measured move down using um, how the market moves, which is in twos. And the target for now is right at the $96 level. However, I don't think that's going to be the bottom either. There's even a lower target that I have in mind. And I think square or block can reach the 80 into the 80s. I think that's a place where we would get a bounce or reversal. And you can see that there was previous resistance before and then prices broke outside of it and that's what led to that huge rally so this is probably a lot of buy orders left at this level that could potentially be filled and that's when we'll probably get um maybe a bottom maybe not but at least a probably a bigger bounce and you can see that we did get a bounce right from the previous uh, uh, swing right here at that uh, 100 dollars level that was the top for quite a long time and then prices came back to test it and it did you get a bounce but it's not strong enough to build some type of support as of right now so in the short term block could go right to my target very shortly or we could get just a little short trap to come back to the ema because we haven't been to the ema since november 17th of 2021 so that's um quite a long time for the price not to go to the ema 
However, this is a very strong trend, so we don't really have to. We can just stay within this channel and continue to trend lower. So my target is still at the uh, low 80s, even if we do get a rally out of here. So that's what all I have for Square. And I still like the company. There's nothing wrong with the company. Um, they're probably going to be continuing to increase their income and revenue. So I'll be picking up shares pretty shortly. Uh, just a small position. Um, just I think it's a, a great buy at these price levels. So let's go and wrap this up on the weekly chart. And just to let you guys know, technical analysis is not 100%. However, you can be more uh, right than wrong. And that's what you always got to stick with. You got to stick with the odds. A casino is only uh, profitable 51% of the time. But that little edge that they have is what gives them millions and millions of dollars. Because if you were to play a million times, um, that continue that continually adds up for the casino. That 1% uh, gain or edge or benefit on their side and over a number of um, pretty much test or uh, whatever there's a word in statistics, um, then you just come up on top. So, I mean, obviously you can be even way more um, precise. Uh, if you're good with technical analysis, you can be up to 90 to 95%, but it's still not 100% no matter what. So, and the technical analysis is telling me that we're in this downtrend. And like I said before, it's just an old saying that the bears... Well, the bulls take the stairs and the bears take the elevator. And you can see that just it's coming back down faster than it went up. And we're probably going to come back right to that starting point or probably the $80 level. And the starting point for this entire move is right at that $50 level. I don't know if it's going to get that low, but I see a strong case for it to reach the 80, um, low 80s. And that's if we first reach that first measure move, which is at the 96. And we're very close to it. There's not a lot of... Um, we don't have to drop pretty far to even reach that target I have. Maybe another 20% from this level. So that's not that much. Um, the market can do that swing in like a week. So there's a strong possibility to continue lower. But from here, we might get a bounce. We might uh, get a rally back up to the highs. We'll see what the market wants to do. And I'll give you guys an update. But I still think we're going to continue lower. I don't think this is the bottom. This is a very strong move. There's a lot of momentum to this. And you can see that all these... There's a lot of selling. All these bars are red. Um, every pretty much a week closes red. So there's a lot of selling in the market um, right now. And I don't think it's going to stop until we reach um, some strong support that can turn around prices. Thank you for stopping by and checking out my, my video. Make sure to check out the rest of the channel since you might be surprised at what you can learn. Leave a comment down below on where you think prices are headed. Also share the video if you want your friends to learn about the markets. Lastly, I appreciate any feedback to help improve the channel since I want to deliver good content to you guys. See you next time and bye.